It's a very low barrier to get into the Gronk Squad. That's crazy. We've committed to do the Daily Talk Show for 10 years. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Put it in the calendar. Oh, that one in. I'd just like to check the temperature in the room. I told you my squeegee story. It is outrageous. Come on, let's go. It's the Daily Talk Show, episode 985. Happy Chewy Tuesday, friends. (laughs) I've forgotten. (laughs) What a treat I actually had. That's nice. Um, Before we get into the Chewies, can I just say um, uh, thanks to Yas for uh, for sending them today. This has come all the way from NSW. Mm Mm-hmm. New yeah. South Wales. Does yeah, it, yeah. It, when you say NSW, it sounds it sound, weird. It does, yeah? yeah. It sounds like a, a retail shop. Not safe work. <laughs> Not safe work. And do you want to open it? Yeah. Didn't you want to get to something? Oh, uh, no. Well, what are you going to say? You yeah, like- I was going to say something and then I thought it was too much of a distraction from the Chewies and then. Unless it's a 10 it. minute bit. I was just interested in Orlando Bloom's uh, What's happened? morning routine. What's Orlando? Well, you, you know how um, I think Pete Evans may have gotten. Who was it that got criticised for the activated almonds? <laughs> I mean, Pete Evans. I re- Do you remember <laughs> the activated almonds thing? Yep. Talking was it about- Pete Evans? Yeah, he's doing the activated almonds mm-hmm. thing. Uh, Orlando Bloom's being uh, slammed online <laughs> for his morning routine. Just all the different things. Activated almonds or no? It's like there's some chanting. Some green Mate, smoothies. Leave, leave them alone. It's I, fine. I had a green smoothie this morning. I wasn't mm-hmm. chanting. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Anyway, so this was um, sent a little while back. It's finally got here. Thank you, yes. It's, uh, this is her niece's, I think. Ooh, her niece's favorite gum. I've never seen okay. this. What is that? Airheads gum. It sort of looks like um, airplane jelly. All right. I'm going to f- throw you. Oh, no, the green that's going to oh, make blue. you sick. Okay. It's blue raspberry. Oh, yeah, this is going to... We've, we've done the watermelon to death. I'm looking forward to trying that one, though, yeah. but let's try blue raspberry. Yeah, this looks interesting. Do you know which company makes it? I would um, guess. Nestle? <laughs> no, that was the yeah. banter in the office yesterday. There's a little uh, open thing, which is nice. Paraffin? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm, so, this is... Maybe it's a New South Wales thing. Or yeah. there's a little shop close by that... Is doing some imports. Interestingly, when you open the uh, the uh, the experience is really nice. Look at that. Oh. So it's like, um, how would you just? Oh, you are going to love this. Oh, it's yum! Sickening. Sickening play smell. more, play delicious. Is the um is the tagline? I'm just going to. Tell, I tell you what. There's no tagline that mm-hmm. I'm going to buy chewy over. So what do you mean? Like as in like, you know, once you pop, you can't mm-hmm. stop. Like yeah. there's. Mate, it's just stickiness of mm-hmm. the name that gets you then thinking about it. Some chewy- hard, hard to do, be that person that comes up with some solid branding of a, you know, like a once you pop, you can't stop. Also hard to get them out of the oh. um, container. Have you smelt it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it smells. What does it smell like? It smells like a lolly, and there's a strip down the middle of something. Mm. Oh, I like it soft, and then oh. look at that! Look at mm. that! Mm. 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 I think it is a lolly down the middle. I think this is my favourite. That's amazing. Is there, was there no sugar? No, there's five calories per serve. It's fine. <clears throat> Yum. Blue <laughs> raspberry. 14 sugar-free sticks. If I give one to Bodhi, he's mm. going to lose his mm. mind. Wow. That is really yum. Well, um, we'll get to the uh, watermelon off camera a bit. Mm-hmm. Actually, let's do it today. Yeah, yeah okay. Fuck it. Um I've opened a case. Um, With who? I'm a detective. I've, I've opened a case on the my local um, uh, green grocer. Oh, yeah. Fruit shop man. Doing oh, a bit of drugs or something? Well, no, no, he's not. I wish. I mm. wish. We, um, I sent to our group chat yesterday uh, an epic nacho dish oh, that I made. That looks amazing. Real good. How do you mor- microwave the foil? <laughs> it was... I use foil in a tray because uh, for cleaning purposes. That's really good, yeah. Getting off cheese from a mm-hmm. tray is the worst. But don't you have to worry about accidentally eating the foil? Nah, not at all. Because I'm not four years okay. old. <laughs> <laughs> what about fork? Like I sometimes worry if I'm using a fork with foil that I'm going to eat. Yeah, but uh, I'm, I'm, up, I'm up for the challenge. Yeah. And so, I, yeah, sure. Play the game. You eat foil. <laughs> but mm. it's all part of it. Shit it out, you know. Um, but- Av- Avocado is a, a, a good, uh, I mean, an important ingredient mm-hmm. in nachos. It's on top. You don't cook with it. People who cook, 
people who cook avocado are fucking tweaked. It's weird. Do you know, I actually heard, um, I was watching Gordon Ramsay make some Mexican food last night. Yeah. <laughs> and he said, um, oh, you know, uh, we're using chipotle here. And yeah. he's like, you know, the ch- chilies, the lo- do you know, the longer you dry them, sorry, the longer you leave them in um, from a cooking perspective. So say you're cooking, mm. the longer you cook, the hotter it's going mm. to be. Did you know that? Well, I kind of intuitively did because remember how I was telling you I was cooking with Chipotle chilies Mm -hmm. and I bought the can that wasn't just the pureed version that's not hot, just tastes like smoky Chipotle, but the whole chilies in the can, the whole Chipotle chili. I took them out of the food as it's cooking because I'm like, that's going to, that's either going to, I think my logic was that they would fall apart and then Mm. just the whole dish would be fucked. Well, he he said, he's like, uh, the Mexicans, they they know what's up. They um, they do. uh, They meet the, the hot heat of the spice with cool ingredients, a fire blanket uh, with your avocado, sour oh, cream oh, yeah, or cheese. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, the, yeah. Like, he know. paints the picture, mm. doesn't he? He's great. Mm-hmm. It's like a commentator of a sport. Yeah. They just know how to, they know the words. Mm-hmm. And he, he also, you, he created a Mexican egg dish and I thought this was clever. He sort of had the, the bed of it, which was beans and mm, all this mm. tomato-y stuff. And then he used the egg in its entirety to create little holes Mm. that he could then crack the eggs into, which is clever. I, I messed up once. I saw, it's, it's probably on Instagram or Facebook, I saw someone cut an avocado in half, mm-hmm. crack an egg into the uh, the hole where Pinterest the, is big on Pinterest. Dude, mm-hmm. you tell me one success story yeah. of that. I'll fucking give you some And So, heads. what's the fruit shop um, case? So, the avocados. So, real problem with avocados in Melbourne at the moment. Not sure if you're across it. I don't know if it's- like an, a legit problem, but mm-hmm. you, you've got your dark skin ones and your, your green skin ones. Yes. I don't know the names. I just know the colors. One's good. And I've always thought one was bad. Mm-hmm. The dark one's good. The lighter green one, I haven't liked. Well, the lighter green ones, I think the idea is maybe they, um, you can eat them in all seasons. Like they're yeah. just average all the time. Well, I saw a mate of mine, Fitzy, he posted- and you know something's had some bad branding associated mm-hmm. with it when someone posts just saying, guys, give them another go. Oh, really? And it was the light green skinned avocados. I've got one right here. This is what they look like. Yeah. So last night, um, Amy couldn't get one that was ripe or mm-hmm. ready to eat from um, the supermarket. And do you know how they do it in the supermarket? How you like the ripe versus the unripe ones? Hand. So, yeah, you can, you, you touch them. I touch obviously. Them. But also, they put the ripe, really ripe ones at the bottom. So, oh, if yeah. you're making, gu- I don't know where I learned this, but if you're making well, guac, sense. they put all the, the ones at the, so the, at the very bottom, they're the softest ones, which the I was interesting. Yeah. So, the like, ripest. As, they don't pile up on each other the way they have them sort of designed. Is it sort of- Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And so, at the bottom. So, this is, um, this is one that Amy went to get from- the fruit shop and she's like darling she took like half an hour in the supermarket mm-hmm. i was waiting with Bodie in the car Bodie's, where's mom i'm like i know and so we went and found her and i saw she was at the fruit shop mm-hmm. and she got two avocados and she put the trust in this man the fruit man and said yeah we just need some and he said do you want to eat them tonight and we said yep or amy said yep and so she bought two avocados six bucks mm-hmm. in total Three each, which is like, it's, it's standard. high. It's oh, no. standard, but- Standard in Melbourne. Standard, but like, I still am like mm-hmm. wincing every time. Like, oh, fuck, I wish this was a buck yeah. or two bucks. Um, she got them home. She told me that and I felt it. I was like, this guy sold us a, a car with, uh, you know, a faulty engine. Like him saying, yeah, 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 take these for mm-hmm. tonight. Feel this. Just have a little feel. I know this is- no, a- it's just, it's, He's trying to roll it yeah, across. try and roll an avocado. Yeah. <laughs> it rolls back to you. Oh, it feels very soft. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Amy gave this them to bruised. me. This bruised. This bloke has knowingly- A fruit shop man- Don't push it too hard because you'll bruise it even more. Are you- are you You're not going to take this back as evidence, are you? I- Have well, you cut into it? No. That was what- we got given. But maybe he's excited. Like, this could be. Can we cut it or no? No, no. You don't yeah, 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 yeah. I just feel like it actually, if it's not brown, it is actually the perfect avocado because this is what you want. Like, when you're making guac, you want it to be really soft and ripe. So, I think he's 
potentially giving you something very premium. But let's let's find out. TJ's got it's lost the um, it's lost the little nub on the top. I just pulled it off. Okay, pulled off pulled off the knob. Okay, Ready? so we'll cut it in half. In my mind, that is a butchered avocado, and we've been handed over a product that is not like in my mind. I'm like this guy knows he wants to get rid of his fruit and veg that is about to go off because he's not getting money back from the farmer. I wonder how that works actually. It's not, I don't know if that's. Okay. Okay. Oh, so beautiful. Good, good color. It's really good. Like you could imagine this is the yeah. type of avocado yeah. that you would see um, spread on, on some bread. On Pinterest. So I'll tell you, there was another one. That I, I mm-hmm. said there was two. Yeah. Putrid. It tasted like. So were you like, annoyed that this one actually looks well, okay? Well, that, that is the best one out of the two. That's why I brought it into work. But mm-hmm. can you try it on a spoon on that fork, fork and just yeah. tell me? Because there's the taste about avocado when it hits your mouth and you're like, mm-hmm. oh. Well, I've had um, blue raspberry and watermelons. But so I think you, palates. I think, yeah, it's clean. It's cleaned. <laughs> here you go. All right, here we go. This could be good. Wait for the taste, the aftertaste. That's where it comes in. It's always there. After you've had the avocado, something's going on. Talk to me. I like it. You like yeah, it? Yeah, I think you could um, add a little lemon. little lemon? Uh, add some spring onion. <laughs> so, so there's no case to be found. No. It's actually okay, really good. good. What were you worried about? That it, he was- No, because the taste of the other- I opened the other one. <laughs> oh, hang which on. Which was- Let's, I think it tastes <laughs> like something. Do you want to say what we think it tastes like? <laughs> In three, no, I two, know. one- Avocado. <laughs> Can you taste like a, a cummy taste? Oh, mate. How do you know that? You know, it's like that chlorine So you say it tastes like the smell? Yeah. Hang on. Oh, oh no, he's just, just flipped it over. That, that one. <laughs> yep. Yeah, there's something about it, dude. Taste it? Maybe that's avocado. Mm. No. No, there's an aftertaste to that. Sorry. That's a waste of three bucks in my eyes. And so was this, so your mate that posted about uh, the avocados. Yeah. Are you getting that? Not that good. loaded? <laughs> <laughs> you're not getting it? No, not the one you're saying, but what are you there's getting? definitely something there. Just it's an aftertaste of an avocado. Is it you, yolky? Yeah. Yeah. It's like- a bit eggy? Well, yeah, because egg can la- stay in your mouth mm-hmm. and, and has that sort of taste. Mm-hmm. Yeah, dude. You don't like it. And so what are you going to do about it? Just not go back? Nothing. Just talk yeah, a yeah. bitch about it on mm-hmm. this podcast. <laughs> and so did you learn anything from So these are the ones that your mate was saying, give them another go? Um, yes. And I've learned, don't give them another go. Did you message him? Uh, no, nah, I've actually unfriended him. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. I'll send him this podcast. Mm. Fitzy, mate, you've lost your, lost your mind. You buy them rock hard and next day they're gone. Mm. They're back. They're soft and then it's too late. It's like they ripen overnight when they know you could be eating them. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Um, Gordon Ramsay, actually, um, one of his cool hacks, he created this like a Mexican soup and then he got, uh, you know, like tortilla chips. Have you mm. ever made tortilla chips? No, but I've not tortilla chips, like the Mexican vibe, mm-hmm. but I've got flatbread, mm-hmm. um, salt and pepper, yeah. garlic, like um, like wiped over it, yum, olive oil drizzled, mm-hmm. put it in, got them crispy. Yeah, so he did that. He like uh, store-bought tortillas, yeah. lay them out. You put some like paprika or something, yeah. something red or whatever, put it in the oven for a few minutes. They go yeah. nice and crispy. They looked really good actually. Dude. Mm. Mate, I saw a the best, um, it must be his daughter, Gordon Ramsay, mm-hmm. the TikTok. Did yeah, you yeah. see that? Where he's um, <laughs> she's got some ball and she's like trying to put it into the- bottle and then she's like pre- smashes the ball on the lid of the open lid of the bottle that has water in it mm-hmm. and holds it down next to it like a magic trick mm-hmm. and then he looks in it and she squeezes it and then <laughs> smashes an egg oh no that's what she's holding an egg she's holding an egg to yeah. put it into the bottle like a magic trick watch this dad i'll put mm-hmm. an egg into a bottle you can't get it through that hole yes you can and she fucks him up there's a real taste of that avocado Not yeah happy. dude um yeah, they, Gordon Ramsay and his daughter, they do a lot of fun stuff do like they? that. Yeah. It's like they he appears in most of them. He's jacked. Mate. Really looks after himself. Could have been what Simon Ca- uh, Simon Cow could have looked like. He broke his back, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. He also went real hard on 
Did he? All the um, face stuff, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you remember seeing the photos? Yeah. You can go both ways with a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can really just abuse it in the worst possible Mm -hmm. way. If a plastic surgeon said, hey, TJ would love to give you something. Yeah. uh, One one sort of, uh, what would you call it? A procedure. Um, procedure. What yeah, would you yeah, pick? yeah. Elective. Mm-hmm. Um, or would you say my mate Josh needs a mouth? <laughs> <laughs> no. It, it, like, would it have to be visual? Like, you could uh, see it. We can't fix personality. That's what we want <laughs> that, to Well, know. well. Yeah, no. Do no. you have to be able to see it? Like, is it a no. nose job? Is it? That could be anything. Okay. Can I get So, something that's not visible. Oh, plastic surgery. Yeah, I guess that's. Yeah, no, no, no. I've got it. Um. Is it injecting something? No, no. Okay. I'm not one of those fuckheads. No, what is that? Uh, I would, just because it falls under it, get a nose job to realign it mm-hmm. because I got punched and it's kind of like slightly off mm-hmm. and I need to, and I need to fix the sinuses because it's got that um, deviated septum. Mm-hmm. I think it's got, no, not deviated septum. It's like something, yeah. is that it? Yeah, I think so. George, didn't he say that, oh, uh, yeah, that's that right. half the population ha- have um Deviated but septums. then I worried about celebrities that snort so much coke that they mm-hmm. fucking deviate the septums sort of mm-hmm. <laughs> or something. Yeah. Anyway, I'll get that, get that sorted. Mm-hmm. It is one of those things like going, opting to, so I could go and get my, like one side, mm-hmm. other side. That's so elbow, different, yeah, dude. Yeah. And I got punched from this side, uh-huh. broke that, broke the nose in that bone. This mm-hmm. side, you can feel like a callous bone from where it's oh, recovered. really? Have you ever yeah, thought dude. about, um, do you snore? Well, for some reason I've been snoring a bit lately. Amy's pulled me up. Mm-hmm. It's because she's sleeping light. So maybe I've just been getting away with yeah. it for a long time. Would you try an experiment for me? What? It's very inexpensive. Um, so I was watching a YouTuber that's been taping his mouth shut at night. That's Better the sleep. Fun. <laughs> that is the dumbest shit. What? No, it's actually really good because think about it. Breathing through your nose- you were telling me, was it, uh, I feel like I was doing some breathing exercises and you were saying, ah, oh, breathe through your nose. I can't remember what that was about. But well, um, yeah, a lot of the, a lot of the go-to breathing practices aren't inhaling through your mouth. Yeah. You go through your mouth and you might be able to let it out through your mouth. Yeah. L- let it go in through your nose, let it out through your mouth. Yeah. Anyway. Would you- um, Absolutely just for one not, night, Just one, for one night. That could be fun. No way. What if it went bad? Like what if- so-, there, so you can actually go to the pharmacist- and get lip um, tape, like specifically designed for this. Get the daily com if you've done this. For, and so, what's the lip tape for snoring? Here we go. Oh my God, it's like a full. <laughs> that is the dumbest thing. He looks just like he's got a little white mouth. Mm. Mm. Yeah. It's so stupid. You can then get a chin and mouth strap. I, I understand that. Other things where you put some, it looks like earplugs, but you put them into your nostrils. Mm. I think there's almost like anti-snoring sleep stickers, gentle mouth from eBay. It's definitely no, like- You don't want them from eBay, do you? No way, dude. It seems like it's like a bunch of- mm. I feel like that would be made of asbestos. You know, I know. It's, it feels like factories yeah, yeah. have just gone, well, that's that sells. Let's mm-hmm. fucking make shitloads yeah, yeah. of that. Mm-hmm. Next but minute, you've got getting the good one. Like if you got the good ones from the pharmacist, I think it would be fun for you to try. Because <laughs> he actually woke up. Uh, Ali Abdel was the guy who did it. He yeah. woke up feeling refreshed because breathing through his mouth, yes, was- through his nose. Like yeah, he felt like dry. He always woke up dry, and so he covered that. Yeah, like exactly. from, yeah. Um, I've actually been thinking about getting a sleeping device. What kind? One that would help with my temperature. Oh. Um, the chili pad. In the, you put into your bed? Yes. Who was talking about that recently? Fuck. Someone was asked, what do you do? It was a fighter. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was a UFC fighter. Swears by this thing in his bed. Mm-hmm. It, it has like changes. water or whatever in it. Like, so, so I was looking at it and then there seems, it looked like a sleep apnea device. Like it looked very sort of medical. Mm. You put water into this plumbing thing, like this- um, sort of um, box that then has these tubes and it feeds through and it, and mm. you can get a half queen 
version. So yeah. your partner can be on the other side, side not feeling anything yeah. and you can have your temperature dialed in. And so, yeah, I mean, athletes use them. Mm-hmm. Josh Jansen uses yeah, yeah. them. I mean, it's a classic. I just feel- <laughs> How much are they? Under 500 bucks. I mean, that's r- pretty reasonable. Mm-hmm. If it's like if it- changing your sleep, I just run hot. But then I thought about it. I'm like, you know what? First step, just having a fully cold shower that before would- going to bed. And that will just regulate a bring, little bit. It will bring your core temperature right down. Yeah. Because I do, I have been feeling lately that just so sweaty when mm. I wake up. Mm. I don't know what's happening. Mm. Interesting. Do you sweat? <laughs> oh. Uh yeah, but I'm a, I run real hot, but mm-hmm. I'm I'm usually leg out, or yeah, completely out. Mm-hmm. Sleeping with the window open last night was heaven oh, that's for nice. a little bit, just with the rain, pitter no pattering. Police raids or anything? No like police raids, just heaven until one a.m. when Bodie comes in screaming. Mm-hmm. So anyway, that's um that's the deal. I mean the the um there is something so soothing about the the rain. Well, you can use I I've never got around the sound. A sound effect thing, like yeah. playing the rain sounds. It's the, nice for a little bit, but then I, I guess it, there's, if you struggle sleeping, I don't think we're two blokes that struggle sleeping. No. And so it's a real issue. But even um, I've made the mistake of doing sort of a, a rain sound effect, but then, or like a thunderstorm. But the problem is, is it's just playing everything. That's, so, Thunderstruck! Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, thunder! So like, just like, like... A Spotify yeah, playlist. of of <laughs> songs that have thunder in them. So, it's, it's You're not a fucking a good, animal. It's not a great solution in that one. Um, I've got to run. Mm-hmm. Uh, Amy's just called me. Okay. Which um, which Chewy are you, do you think is your favourite? Definitely the Blue Raspberry. Mm-hmm. Yes, that is crazy good. Mm. But like crazy naughty good. I can't eat that all the time. Like, I'd be sick. It tastes like a school canteen. It does. Mm-hmm. It tastes like a fun park. Mm-hmm. Tastes like a carnival mm-hmm. in your mouth. Where are they from, did, did you say? Well, are they from, like, any su- specific supermarket? She didn't mention it. Airheads gum. Airheads gum. Here we Guys, go. Guys, if you're trying to get into Chewies. Joy's Delight. You can buy them. You can buy them online, three three dollars fifty a pack from Australia. That sounds can you buy reasonable. them like at a normal supermarket? Candy Time, USA Foods. Oh, they must be American. They're at USA Foods. The same playful tangy Airheads flavors you love now in every stick of Airheads gum. Must be American. That's really good. Thanks everyone. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Have a good one. We'll see you tomorrow. See you guys. <laughs>